I plan on going riding, but before I do, I ended up ordering some Latigo and an off billet last week on sale and it came in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this jumbled mess into uh, something that's presentable as far as writing goes. Um, a lot of this is from a costume that I made up and wrote in, gosh, five years ago or so. It was a, it was a snow, it was supposed to be snow, so it was supposed to be blue and, and, and look like a big old snowflake. But I've got, um, this is the um, uh, breast collar that I've got to take all this stuff off of. And then over here on this, I've got <laughs> little, um, what are these, uh, icicles. <laughs> on the, um, this stuff is so sticky, or sticks to everything. But anyways, they're little icicles that are hanging on the uh, uh, bridle. So I've got to take all this stuff off of here, and then I'm going to um, get the new Latigos on to uh, the saddle, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've got the uh, fluffiness off of the breast collar. So here's what it looks like. Now I did stitch this uh, bling on here years ago. This is stitched on really well so I didn't want to undo this. The other one was also stitched on but it was stitched on loosely so that I could remove it easily because I knew eventually I would want to use this for something other than a big fluffy breast collar. So um, here it is all uh, cleaned up and done. Now uh, I've got to put a bit on this bridle. So um, this is the bridle and it also has the bling on it. Um, you know, big fan of fringe and you know, when you're barrel racing, bling was the thing. So anyway, this is it. Uh, all of um, my um, bridles, I've put these clips on. It just makes it really easy to switch out the bit from, you know, because my horses all use about one bit and I like to, instead of keep, instead of buying, you know, five or 10, because yeah, Gwen had 10 different tack sets. So instead of buying 10 of the same bit, I've got three. And so I just swap them out between, you know, if I need to, between the different um, color sets. Because like I said, she has 10 different sets. So this just makes it really easy. This is her, this is the bridle. I'm gonna be riding Anna, and she rides in this too. This is a Pelham bit. Um, it's a French, uh, French link. So I really like the three-piece type. I think it's a lot less severe than just a plain two, um, two jointed or one jointed uh, snaffle. So you have to make sure on this. So it's got um, this, it has kind of a um, curve right here and you've got to make sure that that's to the inside. And also you can see how it looks like this. This is um, the shank and the shank goes on the lower part. Now the way this works is a pelum you can, a lot of times you would use two reins on it. You would have one up here and it works like a regular type of snapple uh, bit. Or you can put it down here and when you do this, when it's in their mouth, it pulls and this chain, will, it pulls like this and it pulls on them. Um, it's a little bit more severe. Um, so you can put it on either one. I usually use this one and just use it more as a curb type bit for them. But the point of all of this is your bridle hooks up here. It doesn't hook down here, it hooks up here on this top one. And again, so I gotta make sure that that, that curvy part right here is facing the bridle or facing what would be the horse. Um, the snaps that I use, the snap part, the open part goes to the outside, not the inside, it goes to the outside. So I make sure my bit is right and just snap each side on and there we go now it's now it's her bridle now it'll be easy for me to put on except for she hasn't worn this one so i'll have to adjust it to her face uh, when we ride tomorrow or before we ride tomorrow um, i'm gonna put the um, reins on this as well normally i have those clips on my reins too but this one is chicago screws and kind of more of like a permanent type situation. I'm not a fan of Chicago screws. They do have a tendency to come unscrewed when you're riding, especially if you're doing a really long ride. 
we plan on being gone for about two hours and that's it. So hopefully, you know, and it's, it's Anna, I'm not worried about her. So I got to get a screwdriver, unscrew these so I can put it on and screw it back. Okay, so this is my saddle that I'm using to ride Anna in. This is a treeless saddle. It's uh, actually a knockoff brand. Uh, it's supposed to be like a like a Tammy Fisher knockoff. Uh, but this is what it kind of looks like. Uh, it's I actually picked it up for a friend, and then she decided that she didn't want it after I picked it up for her. So anyway, um, I decided I'd make the best of it. It really rides kind of weird, so I had to <laughs> move the, the stirrups and the, the straps around. So they're kind of backwards from uh, what they would normally um, be on a saddle. Normally your girth would be on the front and the stirrups would be to the back, but when in this saddle it, may, it, threw, it throws you forward. So this one I had to swap it back and I had to move some D-rings and, and I made it work. So um, let's see if I can, I'm gonna show you how to change out this uh, latigo, if I can. There we go. All right, so this is the strap for the stirrup and uh, they make these uh, straps. This one's a leather strap, so this one's a really good one. Um, they make, I could get a same set in this um, for the, uh, as the nylon, but uh, the, uh, this one particular one didn't have it, but one day I, I will get another set. So basically you just undo this little um, strap from the back and then it comes through the front. Mo a lot of um, latigos are set up this way, even the leather ones, so it comes off that easy. Now I'm going to leave this like that so I remember <laughs> what it looked like. So this one's set up kind of is basically the same way um, but the the symbol for it or the the name brand is here on the front so I'm gonna put it on this well maybe not I don't know that one was that way maybe I should so I don't rub that but I like having this part on the front so I don't know if it really matters so same concept as the other one. They always use leather straps. Leather tends to kind of stick to itself. So put this through here and then the two pieces go through those two holes in the back. make sure that's straight. You don't want it too tight because we're going to use that here in a minute. This is usually easier if you can put them together through at the same time. If you try to do one and then the other, it doesn't always work out right. Or they just don't work together. Right. Pull it through. Make sure we're, I don't want it twisted. See how it, it twisted back here. I really want this to be flat. So I'm gonna kinda pull this out again. Maybe. Let's see if I can twist this around. Like that, the right one. You know what, we'll just take it out. All right, because this one's crooked too. You want them straight, you just really don't want things to be all crookedy in there. That through there. This is why they taper those ends so that you can get them through those, um, through the holes. All right. And then we're gonna put this through there. And we pull it tight. And there we go. Now I have a new Latigo strap for the saddle. And so I've got a purple saddle pad that I'm gonna use with this. And then I have that light blue tack that I just cleaned the uh, winter stuff off of or that snow stuff. And so I'll be all matchy matchy. This is the other side of the saddle. This is the side that the girth usually stays attached to and most people keep the girth attached to their saddle. So this is this other side. This is called an off billet. This one, you know, it's funny because I never really looked at this, and this one's kind of scary because this one's just tied on here, which is, um, like I said, oh, I see what they've done. They've 
kept it from so that it wouldn't fall off. Um, this is not really necessary uh, for this side. Um, so I'm going to take this off of here. Off billets are usually shorter and they're also usually a lot thicker. So this one's just, I mean, it's really short, but it's, it's double the thickness of the Latigo. But basically it's really simple. You just, you know, put it through the, um, onto the D-ring and that's it. Uh, you can do this several different ways though. Um, this is the way this one was set up. So, or it's the way the old one was set up. So I'm just doing it the same way again, but you can always, um, put this part on your girth and then this goes under and straps through. And so you form a much shorter, thicker, uh, piece. Uh, but since this is a draft horse that this is going on, I need usually as, as long of a, a off billet and girth as I can get. So I'm just putting this back in uh, the same way that I had it. Uh, since I rode her in this, um, I can, I know that this will fit her this way. So, and I measured this already. So this goes to this second hole. So this goes through two, the two pieces, the little a pin goes through two um, straps or strips or holes. There we go. Now it's all set up, ready to go. So now I am ready as far as her saddle goes for in the morning um, and we're all we got some color added. I've got my, um, this is what we put some water in, things like that for when I'm riding. Um, a lot of times I'll put that on my endurance saddle. Um, I used to ride her in my endurance saddle, but she doesn't like it. It has a tree to it and she wasn't too thrilled with it. That's why I went to this one. I have a, another, um, treeless saddle that I really like, but, uh, it's really heavy. So this one's really, really lightweight. I like this uh, shorter or smaller cutoff. This is a um, uh, rounded skirt is what it's called. This is called the skirt. And this is a rounded skirt on the saddle. So, um, and this one actually has the, um, oh, not flank. Um, anyways, it has this part. My other one cuts off here. And so when the horse sweats, my legs are against the horse and it always, I get sweaty legs from the horse. So not my sweat, their sweat. So, um, other than that, hopefully tomorrow this goes really well. It's the first time I've t we're taken her to where we're riding, and I'm taking a friend with me. So, and it's the first time she's been to this location. So, this should be fun to see uh, how well this goes. It's a public place, meaning it's you know anybody can go there. It's not a specific um, riding spot for just horses. It's it's people you know walk, ride bikes. Uh, just all all stuff like that and it's it's downtown Fort Worth so that's that's pretty cool so um, hopefully it all goes well um, I'll try and get some video of us or at least you know on horseback I'll see if I can't uh, maybe get a video of uh, Anna all tacked up um, she'll be really pretty I just know it uh, hopefully the stuff fits she is in she is pregnant she is five months along so hopefully this tack fits her and she needs the exercise the exercise is good for her and we're really not riding very long we'll probably um, we might go um, maybe six miles total we're looking at um, go, riding out for about an hour this isn't a trail it's per se it's not like a loop it's just a one direction so you go as far as you want to go and turn around so I'm, I, I thought we might ride for an hour out and then we'll turn around and come back and horses usually go faster on the way home so um, it, it probably won't take us a full two hours to ride out and it, it might be a little too hot I don't know if my, my friend doesn't like to ride in the in the heat so she may decide I'm done and I want to go back so and I don't know how her horses have never been in this situation I haven't taken Anna in this situation so we'll see how they do hopefully everybody does well and um, it's a good ride because I really like going to this place uh, just for the the sheer um, the, the the desensitization for it or the I don't know sensitization whatever anyway uh, it just, it's a lot of uh, stimulus. That's the word I'm looking for. It's a lot of stimulus for the horses. Uh, so um, it's its a really, I, um, 
it's it's different it's not a trail it's different so and it really helps um, prep them for doing parades and stuff where there's like people and cars and just stuff that normally doesn't show up on their trail so um, like I said um, I'll, I'll get a video for you and uh, see how it goes